Good morning everyone and welcome to Watch and Pray. This is our series of readings and reflections and prayers for the season of Lent. Our theme this week is quiet and on this Friday the 15th of March we explore Jeremiah in a cistern. Our opening music actually chosen today is Bogoroditsi Devo by Sergei Rachmaninoff. Let us return to God who is all forgiveness. We will wait for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. We seek to tread in the steps of Christ. In the steps of Christ, our champion and king. He has shown us the way when strong, when weak. He is our guide in everything. We come now to a period where we ask for God's forgiveness. We have fallen short of what you desire, O God. Wipe clean our sins and save us. Save us, O God. You who saved Noah from the waves of the flood. Save us, O God. You who saved your people from an oppressor's hand. Save us, O God. You who saved Jonah from the deepest abyss. Save us, O God. We come now to this morning's reading, verses from Jeremiah chapter 38. So they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern. Now there was no water in the cistern, but only mud, and Jeremiah sank in the mud. Thanks be to God. Now our reflection. Jeremiah is the great prophet who experiences the exile into Babylon and the complexity of life under colonial occupation. Jeremiah has a word from God that is difficult, but he is faithful in proclaiming it. Those who dislike what he says put him in a cistern, a place of no escape, to starve and to die. Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, is made to be quiet through the plotting of his own people. When the truth you speak is not heard and attempts are made to silence you, it is heartbreaking. This has been the experience of black people in racist and xenophobic societies. The silencing often leads to an inner rage. It's not only the mouth that is silenced, but one's identity, one's creativity and one's beauty. Jeremiah's ordeal offers an image of hope. He continued to speak God's truth and time proved his words to be true. Amen. United with Christians around the world, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so to watch and pray. First, watch and recall moments when you felt profoundly unheard whilst speaking your truth. And pray for courage to speak the truth in a world too often fashioned by lies. Amen. We come now to our prayer for the week. 
God of our wilderness and despair, when our chaos is too loud to hear you, lead us to the quiet place. Open the ears of our hearts to hear you in the deepest of ways. Amen. And now, this morning's closing prayer. God of all seasons, in your pattern of things there is a time for keeping and a time for losing, a time for building up and a time for pulling down. In this holy season of Lent, as we journey with our Lord to the cross, help us to discern in our lives what we must lay down and what we must take up, what we must end, and what we must begin. Amen. Amen.